New at 10, condo owners are restless over snakes and slingers. They say one of their neighbors has more than 100 snakes in his home. Katie Crowther tells us how they are fighting to get rid of these serpents next door. Katie. Mike and Carol, in Slinger, there's a limit of three dogs and three cats allowed in any home, but no limit on the number of snakes. There's no ordinance at all for exotic animals. Concerned neighbors have gone to the city and police for help. I don't want to live with 100 snakes. I don't want to live with the rodents to feed the snakes. Charlie Ball shared these two photos of some of the snakes next door. She and her husband Wayne share a wall with the condo in question. I am fit to be tied. I just, I, I cringe. Everybody cringes that I tell we got snakes in the building. It's got to the point that our relatives and friends don't want to come here. They also took photos of bins taped shut being transferred in and out of the house. They believe reptiles were inside. And one day they found their neighbor building this in the driveway. It's a rack for breeding snakes. That's when he confronted them. He was upset that we had called the police and I told him we didn't appreciate his snakes. He said that it was none of our business and that he lived here first and he could do as he pleased. When I tried to talk to him, I got a similar response. Is there any way you do an interview? No. No? No. Is it, do you have snakes in here? No, I'm not answering any questions. Condo owners say it's a health and safety hazard. Slingers Village Board does plan to take up the issue. I left a message with some board members and police, but have not heard back yet. Mike and Carol. All right, thanks, Katie.